So we pray to Lord Ramchand for that mercy. Like the rishis of Dandakari forest, that we have that mood as well. We worship Krishna. Ram is uh, the uh, personification of uh, religious principles, Mariada. So we, we pray that we don't have any obstacles. It's that ob uh, obstacle of opulence. That, that I am the servant of the Lord. This hit kampan bhav will arise in your heart. In, in worshipping Lord Ramchandra. That he is always established in these uh, religious principles. He is following the rules and regulations of society. He will not break them, those rules, for any reason. But in Krishna's pastimes, he showed that love is, is like the waves of the ocean with great force uh, they cross over each other the waves of this ocean they they cross their limits sometimes but in in uh, comparison in lord ramchandra he will not cross cross those rules and regulations in krishna's pastimes they're like these huge waves one crossing e the other we uh, we follow under the guidance of Sri Ramchandra, following the rules and regulations, aiming for that love for Krishna. That same Krishna in Mathura in Dwarka, he there was some rules and regulations. But in Vrindavan, these uh, rules and regulations are crossed. Or in this shloka, in Rupa Goswami Pad says, the, the queens in Dwarka, Satyabhama and others, their uh, sweetness is not any less. The queens, their deep moods, their uh, uh, ornaments of um, expression, gestures, they that even Kamdev are bewildered by the, the queens of Dwarka's uh, beauty, their uh, expression of gestures. But they cannot move Krishna. Although they are so great. They are expansions of each of Srimati Radhika's qualities. Rukmani, Satyabhama, Chandravali. They're all expansions of Srimati Radhika's Naha Prakash. But they, they cannot move Krishna. 
in any way. They cannot stir him or agitate him. But when Shrimati Radhika just snaps her fingers, he has to come. Meaning, this limit of Prem. The, the love of the queens of Dwarka is called Samanjasarati. That Samanjasarati, it gets divided. Which, which divisions? For the husband, for the children. Just like after marriage, after marriage, the oh, sorry, before marriage, the husband and wife are uh, the husband and wife to be. They, uh, they are one pointed to each other, but when they are married, that uh, love becomes divided between the members of the family and the children. Uh, before the children, the relationship was different, and now then compared to when the children come, is that not so? Now that you're married, it's good. What? First, you are on honeymoon. Now, what moon are you doing? Anniversary, once once a year. Now you. And that, that's the only thing you celebrate now, is your wedding anniversary, once a year. And so the love is divided in this way. After marriage. Well, that love is love is not one pointed. In Mathura, Kubja's prem is Sadharani prem. Although Kubja wasn't married to Krishna. She loved Krishna, but it's in a very ordinary way. So this prem is called Sadharani Rati, where there is a sense of my happiness, my own happiness, for one's own self, satisfaction we consider Kubja's Prem because she was one pointed to Krishna So we have to we have to consider that secondary and put that to one side and take the go uh, the love of the gopis the the gopis did not have children even their wedding was as like a like like uh like uh by the influence of maya there was no meeting. Uh, Vishnu Chakrati Thakur. Uh, 
they were only husbands by name they never touched each other's body and they were, did not even share the same bed just yoga maya arrange just to have this impression that this gopa this cowherd boy is my husband that that's all just this impression was there so all the gopis that were one pointed towards krishna apart from krishna they had no other interest wherever their eyes fall they only see krishna this is one pointed love so the lord does not take anyone's remnants no it's in the same way we should be one pointed to have krishna's love they did not the gopis never touched anyone else they're cooking in the kitchen jogamai arranged that the gopis they manifested an expansion which did the household chores while they were the other expansion they were with krishna do you understand they could they could not see anyone else but krishna with apart from krishna there was nothing else for them this uh, at time, certain times they this idea used to come in their mind that this other person is my husband our acharyas have explained it in this way the uh, this this book gurudev is writing has this uh, this uh, song by chandidas um, where the gopis are saying and it has a dual meaning to this song don't touch my body the gopis are saying to krishna because we belong to another we we don't touch and we don't touch the body of any other male even if the air from uh if uh the air from another man's body touches us we have to have a bath so we take a bath if we get a bad smell or um touch anything that's not clean so these moods are being expressed krishna is saying gopis are saying gopis is saying to krishna go to the himalayas and perform austerities there after which
these uh, such dialogue conversations uh, going on between Krishna and the gopis. In, in Tattva Vichar, gopis are the Haladini sh Shaktis of Srimati Radhika. Lalita, Vishaka, they are Kaya view expansions of Srimati Radhika. What is Kaya view? The same person manifests in a different form. For uh, to taste the sweetness of Krishna, the, the the gopis have expanded. Shrimati Radhika can fulfill all the desires of Krishna, but without many consorts, Krishna will not be pleased. There are many examples. Just uh, somebody who is very keen to eat different preparations, very tasty preparations. What should you give them? You should, you should give them, you should present to them many different types of preparations to please them. Because they will not be just satisfied with one preparation or two preparations. If you have some garam garam chapati and then the taste will come. That sabji that we make. We made to uh, nourish the body. Eating chapatis, rotis satisfies our stomach. So why have you made so many different types of subjects? To uh, nourish the body. So that's why the Brajabhasis don't make many subjects, many preparations. Just make uh, one, uh, make roti and one sabji and maybe a dal and a lemon pickle. It's like a small berry, I think he's referring to. Uh, pickle that is a very small berry type. You know, other sampradayas you will not find this. Or they make another sampradayas puris and kurma, some preparation. Like dal mixture. There are no Brajabhasis there. They're all uh, pretenders or other sects, other sampradayas. So you have to become Brajabhasi. You'll get the preparations for 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 being a brajbasi. We 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 don't we don't have we don't have chili in our preparation. There's, uh, in our bandaras, they put so much chili uh, and then they distribute to everyone. The Brajavasis, they, they eat like this, they eat very spicy food.
So this comparison with preparation of many different types of sages is like Krishna is a connoisseur, a connoisseur in tasting many different mellows and he will only be pleased if these mellows are present. He's a rustic shaker. You will not find this anywhere outside of Braj. This is Braj Parakya Ras. You will not find anywhere. You will not find in Mathura. The people who live in Mathura are on the side of Kubja. This place is right behind the mud in Mathura. But come to Vrindavan. Leave Dwarka. Leave Mathura. Come to Vrindavan. Come. This is if you listen to this Mathura Vasi, you'll lose everything. You don't know that we are residents of Braj. He, he won't say. He won't say because he's very attached to Mathura. <laughs> We're not going to feed him today. Gurudev <laughs> 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 used to say like this. Why do you go? Why do you come to Ayodhya? He said, we come to invite Lord Ramchandra to Vrindavan. Ram Bihari Lala Ki Jai.